Hey guys, nothingwire.com and today we're gonna take a quick look at the UC browser version 9.5 which is the latest one. Now UC browser is a third party browser that's available for many platforms including Android phones and tablets, iOS phone and tablets and other platforms as well. Uh, it is in fact one of the most feature rich and add-on heavy um, browser that we've seen not necessarily the most powerful one now let's get started uh, I have an Android 4.4 KitKat phone here my Note 3 and then I have my iPad here with iOS 7 now these two are the platform that people use the most now I'm gonna give you a demo on both of these devices and how they are different from each other and they are different in their own environment from the other browsers like Chrome or their default browser uh, the Samsung browser here and the Safari here now let's get started I'll, I'll go and I'll check out the Android phone ones the moment to switch on the Android phone one you'll see all these bookmarks and everything and uh, you also have a lot of options out here you can see you can add book bookmarks or history you can also go to night mode which um, basically makes the background black yeah. and then you also have you can also change your themes and everything yeah so that's the default one you can add various themes like night which is I've just shown you then you can also add your wallpapers that will go on the background which is actually more apparent on the iOS or iPad then I'm gonna show you you have all your downloads out here then you can of course go full screen yeah exit full screen and that and then you have some preferences yeah, brightness or text only for better reading and then you have tools so you can check the updates or you can check your data usage that are happening with UC browser so that you can better control your data usage yeah now the same thing on iOS the moment you open it has kind of a cleaner interface it also has the bookmarks and all but it's kind of more curvy and has a cleaner environment here another thing um, your backgrounds out here so I've downloaded all this you can download many others there so you can simply go ahead and change the background like you can do on the Android but it's because it has a larger real estate so the backgrounds look more grand on this one you can also set your temperature and the place and then you can also have a social feed where you can add Facebook Twitter or your LinkedIn account yeah here also you have almost the same um, preferences so you have an incognito browsing which I haven't seen here you have social links your night time here they see it actually effectively reduces the brightness with a nicer animation then on the Android you can go full screen tab sync and you also have a QR code which actually can scan the QR which is also here and I'm going to show you those add-ons on the Android as well so you can go to your download pages and then settings out here you can see a significantly different UI the Android one is more cluttered but kind of have um, slightly more information in some areas and then the iPad one is um, more pleasing to eye and it also has the social integration which the Android one actually does not have um, on the Android you can see the same QR scanner you can uh, paste anything from the clipboard now again you can go ahead here and settings but I haven't seen any uh, place to add add-ons here here this is your add-on panel and you can share your web pages here and then there is also something called a screenshot so you can simply drag it to take the area you want or you can go full screen and take the whole screenshot apart from that you also have a speed mode where you can 
um, specify some of the most used um, websites whether they should be viewed in light mode or mobile or desktop uh, now if you want to view them in light mode they would obviously load much faster than on desktop mode you also have something called uc browser which actually interested me a lot now once you added this you see you have a small widget uh, placed out here now the moment you press here you can actually operate it you know like um, there are many add-ons are there many stuff that you can do right from the widget here you can straight away go to Facebook you can search you can download and then you can check out your um, settings and stuff that's quite nifty it's not out here now the tabs you can see that's our site nothing wired on the phone and then here we have it on the iPad yeah. so it's pretty cool see although the scrolling is not so smooth here that's mainly because our site have lot, lots of Ajax material but if you go to let's say uh, National Geographic which is of course one of our favorite sites you'd see again um, you see browser actually renders them perfectly so even if your site is as x heavy or if your site has a lot of dynamic um, element you see browsers renders them almost perfectly and desktop grade then even on the national geography geographic the scrolling is actually not totally smooth however it supports pinching zoom in and out but not double yeah now I'm gonna let it load here and I've seen that it takes a considerable considerably more time uh, opening um, a, an image heavy site like for example National Geographic on the iPad than on my phone I don't know if it has to do with more data being downloaded here but that's because that's not that not, that's not so significant uh, it actually takes more time than uh, the difference between the data difference between the form factors uh, anyway so even here it supports pinching the zoom and stuff apart from here it also supports flash on paper but let's say I um, I'll go to Honda two wheelers now on the iPad there is no question of a flash support so you simply see a red um, page there however when we go to Honda two wheeler here uh, it would actually show you uh, the flash icon here the moment you tap it it will ask you to download the flash player you can download it install it and then it will come as the player but the moment I press it it's been hanging all the time so it's not actually playing flash you see again it crashes not hang sorry so it crashes and I had to restore so it's not playing uh, flash content here however on paper it supports so it might play some flash content you can check it but not on this our test um, now let's go ahead and check out some of the benchmark scores we have the HTML5 score here which is 4.0.4 which incidentally is not much because on this one on our, our Samsung default browser it's 475 which is way way more than 404 and even Chrome is 464 so you can see in terms of HTML5 um, UC browser is way behind the other two browsers and it has some other benchmark scores as well just for your reference for example you have a browser mark while it loads I'm gonna show you Sun Spider so Sun Spider score is 1654 and then your 
browser marks code I'm gonna launch it and while it runs I'm gonna show the scores here now on my iPad it actually um, the UC browser actually scores lower in terms of HTML5 compatibility than on my note 3 on my note 3 if you remember it was 404 here it's 4000 and uh, which is slightly lower than Safari there's iOS 7 and much lower than of course Chrome and Chrome uh, also scores more in terms of HTML5 than the Chrome on Android so even here you can see uh, compared to Chrome or um, you know, compared to um, the default browser that is Safari UC browser actually scores less uh, other benchmarks are you can see your browser mark there and then the Sun Spider score is 3451 which is significantly more than the Sun Spider score on Android now we'll just be back with the browser mark score so there are your browser mark scores so it's 2192 on my Android phone and it's 2292 on my iPad out here which is actually significantly lower you would see than the android browser 4.0 on uh, asus transformer pad that someone must have tested where it scored a whooping 45,000 points same thing on mozilla firefox 6400 and on nexus someone tested with chrome 18 it's 6336 similarly here someone has tested this on lg 15,000 Nokia Lumia Internet Explorer 6512 and Galaxy S2 6360. So even on browser mark, the UC browser scores pretty less. There's one last thing that I want to show you actually uh, is the add-on pin. You can add more stuffs from here, and you have a lot of add-ons out here. See, you can also have a web to PDF converter. So this kind of reminds me of uh, Dolphin browser which was a huge which used to have a, a huge add-on library it still has but it's not so popular uh, nowadays but UC browser it's well on its way to becoming one of the most featured uh, fast and smooth browser uh, that we've experienced in recent times but not necessarily the most powerful or the most um, I mean you know the best HTML5 or CSS3 compatible browser thank you